that you wanted more Max Oil uh, reactions, and I am going to bring you more Max Oil reactions. As promised, we are starting the Elden Ring series. Are you guys ready? Let's hey go. guys, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. Elden Ring, <laughs> or as I like to call it, Boomer Band, is a fun new hack and slash and bash and crash my car. Developed by Epic Games director Hydro Tacos Miyazaki with the express purpose of inflicting pain upon the Gaijin. In this adventure, you play as the famous Vidale Games yeah. protagonist Elden John yeah, yeah, as he yeah. undergoes many trials and tribulations on his quest to fight the entire Catholic Church and kill God. This game is uh, a little difficult. You could call it the Dark Souls of Skyrim. As such, D many challenges the await the player. <laughs> Most of it is the work no. of Satan, as is every game made by the Japanese. Spanning a gigantic world slightly larger than Africa, we will find many secrets, uncover many attractions, and slay the entire cast of the Bible. I've always liked that book. My favorite part was the genocide. I am Melania, like of Nicola. So we boot up the game and, uh, oh, uh, silly me. I forgot to unplug the keyboard so my controller can work. Now I'm free to make my... <laughs> Character. Our journey begins inside issue. of the Microsoft never had that PowerPoint, issue. the quality of which being so dubious that it resurrects you from the dead. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. Of course, this is a FromSoft game, so Spider-Man is here to send us the fuck back. Two are to- Bro, 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 bro. This is the boss? I think that guy that is suing Elden Ring, like, that is suing FromSoft, can't beat. Like, I feel like this- the guy was like, I can't beat this boss, so- the game difficult. Tutorial, which is a whole, a whole lot of fun. You know, just making friends, influencing people, and providing intuitive solutions to the issue of life. And with that problem sorted, it's time to take the elevator so we can accomplish the impossible and go outside. No! Welcome everyone to Limgrave, Touching land of grass. trees, laborious bears upon the trees, and this white person. Honest, if you're lost, how about you start by finding some bitches? Stupid weeaboo wearing ass. When's the last time you took a shower with your dirty helmet wearing ass? With your weird ass cargo shorts your mama gave you? Look, is that hero hey? Is, your fit is mid, and you get zero bitches. The fuck out of my sight before I got a look at those stank ass fans again. As per the words of our friendly associate, we proceed okay. towards the castle in search of some bitches. In Dark Souls, we sought after the Dark Soul, and in Bloodborne, we tried to escape Britain. But for Elden Ring, our objective is to get the hose. This is a game mechanic you cannot level up until you get a girl boss. So with nothing else to do, I guess we'll have to fight this so tutorial boss. Girl boss I am. He's a, yeah. He's a little like. Uh, Chat. Chat. I wanna. I wanna make this clear. I wanna make this clear. When I. When I first played Elden Ring. When I first played Elden Ring. I somehow went down more left of this church. I didn't even come across the fucking first church. I didn't meet the first horse boss and I didn't get to this church. I completely ran left to the side and just went exploring. I, I don't know how I missed it. I don't know. This tutorial is on how to flee in fear. Right? I didn't I didn't find this up, up until like an hour in, by the way. Up until like a fucking hour in or something. I was just going around killing random shit, man. Yep. Use geometry. <laughs> Proceeding so to the fast, next yeah. batch of enemies, we must forsake direct combat in favor of the stealthy techniques of video game protagonist Rigid Danger Mighty Jungle Noodle, at which point they form a violence committee. Hmm. Try finger, but hold up, bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Melatonin, and if I may inquire, sir, I am in need of a quirked up white boy who can bust it down sexual style, so that I may make him goated with the sauce. Okay. No cap. All we have to do now is kill every demigod on the planet. Every what? I'm glad you asked. Long ago, this land was ruled by the great Queen Marinara, who pissed off God so badly that he left the fucking universe. Now her power, the Amazon gift card, is shattered, and her athletic scions are holding a contest to see who can die the least. So God comes back when I kill them. No, but you get to keep the gift card. Uh. These are the faces of evil who have all claimed the shard of the card. 
Some seek glory, others redemption, and one is just really attracted to his younger brother. Wait, what the fuck? And after countless weekends at university, okay. the tarnished warriors are called upon to rise from their tilted towers and achieve one final victory <laughs> royale. <laughs> oh my god. You know what this is? This is Gen Z summary of Elden Ring, man. <laughs> And it makes sense! Jake Paul, bastard of the well, Badlands, listen, I got no the idea. No DLC spoilers. Sleeper, I haven't gotten the there The crazy yet. car car consumer. And least of all, you, tarnished warrior. Is there like an opt-out? Great, I'll send you to my dimensional pocket. I see. <laughs> no DLC spoilers, cool. chat! Welcome to the Round Table Hold, a place to rest, make purchases, and converse with the homeless. <laughs> Do you sell magic? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna what go over fuck? here. Now. I'm in hell. Oh my god, that's so now, good. Now, as for our comprehensible friends, we could begin with the blacksmith, but uh, he's a little oh, busy right now. So that only leaves one more person, Fia, the deathbed oh. companion. Unique among all women, including my mother, for offering to hug me. Of course, I do accept for gameplay reasons, but what mm -hmm. I wasn't aware of was mm -hmm. that this one action permanently debuffed my- This bitch permanently debuffed, man. And I didn't know up until like a day later or what. Oh my god, man. Oh my god! Health, and I forgot to turn it off. For the entire game, the effect <laughs> looks like this. That's worse than me. That is so much worse than me. And with that, I've reached my limit for human interaction, so it's time to head back. Jesus Christ. To Stormvale Castle, where we can find the first demigod on our list of all people. Our approach be- Fucking Maui. ...begins by moving through the gate. Our approach Maui. begins with a battle against the lag beast, but honestly after that, the level is pretty easy. Alright, finally a cutscene. Foul tarnished. God damn it. In search of the hose. Unfortunately, I hate women. That sounds like a you <laughs> problem, Chief. I am also homophobic. <laughs> And you are looking pretty gay right now. Hey guys, it's me, Maxor. Welcome to the first boss. Yeah, he's a little bit, uh, dumb. Margaret Thatcher is a very <laughs> strong, very agile, and very interesting boss. Essentially, his purpose is telling you to fuck off and come back later, preferably when your bones are defragmented yeah. from the ass whooping. He combines delayed attacks, crazy combos, and eventually, the hammer of God, just like the real Margaret Thatcher when she hammered English oppression into the once peaceful streets of Derry. So I think I'm, uh, I'm gonna, Excuse uh, you, what? I'm gonna take the hint and leave. Fortunately for us, <laughs> young Sheldon Ring is a game. With all kinds of activities. Dude, 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 dude. Fucking leave. Sheldon. Fortunately for us, young Sheldon. Dude, young Sheldon? <laughs> I have so many shorts of young Sheldon on my YouTube feed, like half a year ago ish. I felt like I watched the entire thing. Just three YouTube shorts. <laughs> Anyone else? Why? I don't know. YouTube was pushing it. Golden Ring is a game. With all kinds of activities to prepare and unwind. You know, when killing is the, ghost. the that fucking is true. dragon. Which, for some reason, is easier. Just not too much easier. For the next leg of our journey, the now disgraced loser baby resigns himself to living in the woods. That way, he can exist peacefully among the giant bears and, uh, whatever that is. Greetings, traveler. I am the pit bull of the woods. Uh, oh my, is that Uber Danger? <laughs> I never got the... I never had this. I never had this cutscene with Blaive. Never, never, never gotten across here. I met Blaive way later. Have you seen any orphanages nearby? Why are you asking me that? No reason. Legend has it that at the edge of these woods, there's a well containing the tastiest children. Okay. Go there, traveler, and I will kill the that was infants right of your now. choice. Okay, this might seem bad, but <laughs> I know a good deal when I see one. Unfortunately, I am blind. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome to fucking Space Mountain. Dude. Finding this underground place blew my mind. This blew my mind when I first came across this man. <gasps>
Elden Ring is such a beautiful game, man. Elden Ring is such a beautiful game. I hope you like being trapped in Smurf Valhalla because these fuckers don't play around. So to keep things short, this forest is watched over by the spirit of a gentle stag and my immediate impulse is to kill it. This necessitates yeah, lighting obviously. eight fires scattered throughout the sacred grove or more accurately, sprinting between them while enduring the trials of free acupuncture meets Markiplier jump scare. That is not a sentence I thought was possible, but then again, we do have sentient lightning and a uh, Mr. Krabs. So after lighting the fires at the expense of my life, we devour the necessary peyote to enter the spirit cave. And as it turns out, Bambi is back from the woods and they had a chip. Nice. Uh, this boss, really beautiful, by the way. Really beautiful boss, but fuck them. I, uh, like this fight. He shows me how bad I am at the video game and, uh, reenacts my trips to the horse race in 2000. But why is his health so low at this stage already? Like, Bro. Overall, it is a riveting and accurate portrayal of how fun it is to kill innocent forest animals. 10 out of PETA. The second deer's worse? There was a second deer? I don't even remember there being a second deer. You don't even get anything from killing him, just the guilt. So after exiting the hell that is Quebec, we head across Limgrave oh to God. the Weeping Peninsula, called as such for its tendency to rain and also the race war. But before we get oh into that, God. we've got a few tasks to do, just like Among Us. These include fighting the sapien tree, uncovering chests that accidentally teleport me to the end of- No, I can't say what we called those chests. I don't think I can say what we called those chests. <laughs> I think I, I, I'd get banned if I said what we call those chests. The game, and also the, uh, the bell, which may or may not cause hearing damage when you get close enough. It even contains the rarest of all loot, a woman who tells us the tale the of Castle Morn, a fortress that made the grievous mistake of permitting Fur Fest 2022 in their local Hilton. Except these are not costumes. My brother in Christ, they are misbegotten chimera. Oh, yeah. Steve. And you're going oh, to die. So as can be expected, they massacred everyone and started a county-sized race war, and now they're sending me to clean up their human corpse ball pit. Fortunately, just like all issues in life, this one is fixed with a massacre. They haven't invented yeah, yeah. more crimes yet. I, uh, like this level, actually. It's pretty short. Just like this video. My favorite detail is that they gave crack to an orangutan. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, it's more animal cruelty. We're climbing back into Yay, Harambe's cage, and cruelty. there is no guard. You know, when he isn't converting my bones to sand, this fight is actually easy. Mainly because his health is the size of my prefrontal cortex. But even still, I had a great time reenacting the murders I did two years ago. And just like this fight, I will not face the consequences. Enjoy this while you can, because we... Fuck, because we've what? got a few more people to talk to. Such as D, a man who gives us a fair warning about the dangers ahead. The village here has been told by quest Thanks, as well as speaking to the sentient jar. Quests. I barely did anyone's quest. I... Finished Fia's quests? I did Rani's quests? I did Alexander's quests. Oh, I didn't... I did the quests in the... And the Volcano Manor, too. I did those quests. Apart from the Patches quest, he didn't show up for me there for some reason anymore. Well, I did encounter him at first. Like, I did go to his cave and fight him, so... That happened? Or, rather, it didn't? Which you may find strange, but really we are all containers for suicidal thoughts. So after quelling his, Alexander our new friend Jar Jar boy. Binks tells us to head east to an industrious land Best known as boy. Gary, Indiana. You know, it seems oh like God. we're going a little bit off the beaten path with this one, but I'm... <laughs> Who here has gone to Kayla too early, Chad? Who has gone to Kayla too early? I know I have. I was in Kayla way too early. I'm pretty confident. After all, how bad can it possibly be? What the fuck is that? Oh no. Oh god. I, I especially love the dino dogs. Let's go back to the like castle. To this time I, I think I'll walk all the way back to Margaret. Oh my god. Hey guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome back to the, the Let's Play. And on this episode, Margaret is still hard and a bit distrustful. One might say suspicious. We need to eject him. Margaret, more like Marge Simpson. Even with no okay. gear, this is a fight that demands, among other things, awareness and patience. Emphasis yep. on the patience. But most importantly, yep. this fight requires experience. Experience gained through fighting zoo animals, dragons, and <laughs> even Canadians to squeeze out the narrowest of victories. Just to watch out for the hammer. <laughs> Really we glad we could beat the first boss up nine minutes into the video.
10 minutes into the video. Get it right. Welcome everyone to Stormvale Castle, Almost realm of 11. the first demigod, Godric the Garfted. And if I can't get to him in 20 minutes, the lasagna is free. Stormvale is a complex, multifaceted dungeon with various paths, only one of which is correct. So instead, we take the side route across the wall, past the knife birds, and into a Chinese oh, chemical know. factory. So five. after cracking a- Bro, those fucking knife birds, bro, 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 I got- I got way too tilted over them, way too much. Oh my god, those fucking knife birds. Fucking who thought it's a good idea to give knives? Two knives! Two swords! Two fucking birds! I ran across the wall, past the knife birds, and into a Chinese oh, geez, chemical geez. factory. So after cracking open a cold one with the boys, we ascend okay. the political compass until I have authority over life and death, oh, which coincidentally leads God us to the like... castle grounds, and uh, I didn't know they made Irish birds. Curdle, I'm trying to sneak around, but the clamp of my ass cheeks keeps alerting me. Oh, fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. No, oh my god, I... Oh my god, I haven't heard this meme in forever. Oh my god, I have not heard this quote in so long. Right, it looks like we're finally making some progress. All we have to do now is get through the um... He's quite the uh, handyman, who knows how to work with his hands. You could say he's quite the handful. Better use this door to uh, keep him at arm's length. I'm very funny, by the way. Stay tuned for more laughs and gags on The Big Bang Theory Sundays on NBC. I'm sorry, Odie, but I could not stop myself. Oh, no. After all, oh, it no. was a Monday. And I hate Mondays. Yeah, Pizza Mondays delivery are the for worst. a Garfield. It's called lasagna. Pizza Hut really ought to work on serving giant castles. I work for Domino's. Then it sounds like you could <laughs> use a bit of a hand, you know, with making the pizzas. Uh, I command you to laugh. Do you know what I've gone through to make that joke? In this battle against Godric the Minecrafted, we put our patience to the ultimate test as Grandpa pilots his fucking mass grave Evangelion straight into the housing market. Much like his titular cat, Godric is a fucking gremlin who attained his abilities by entering Friedrich Fastbear's Mega Pissplex in the year of our Luigi 1987 and then- Oh my god. <laughs> I unironically love the Godric fight. I think it's a good fight. Bro, I think it is a good fight, yeah. I'm so lost. <laughs> There's too much going on. <laughs> And so okay, the children they're into his wacky animatronic suit. They call him William Grafton. But besides that, his coordination is subpar since he has to migrate a mosh pit to attack you, and it's quite excessive. Godric holds all of his attacks until the heat death of the universe, which means oh. you have to pay attention to his arm carefully, and that's pretty difficult when he's shaped like a four-dimensional object. I'm Finding it up uh, pretty hard to keep track of him. He what seems to fuck? morph around when I so we fight. <laughs> Him slowly and with attrition, like the Viet Cong, dodging, slicing, and dying until eventually reaching the uh, the uh, yeah, oh, yeah, that scream. Oh my god, I hated the scream. Oh god, I guess he didn't need a hand. <laughs> So to overcome the taxes on his 401k, Godric decides to order a bad dragon to release his inner- No! No! Do not order a bad dragon! How is the Skyrim? Finally, I have the power to cook all the lasagna I want! Welcome to phase two, bitch. This is yeah. the best game ever made. <laughs> true, true, true. Chapter 4, Harry Potter? <laughs> Ah, uh, the round table hold, my favorite location. There's really nothing else like it in the realm of physical science. Speaking this feels like something I will watch at 4am while extremely sleep the primal five pressing school assignments I'm putting off. <laughs> Bedroom 
you should sponsor kids and not Speaking of which, it's been at least three seconds since a homeless guy yelled at me. Let's fix that without going to Los Angeles. Hey, hey, people. Oh, God. It is I, the lore man. Okay, do you know where the bathroom is? My IQ is the highest among all Reddit. That's not saying much. Did you know Ranala of a full moon resides? Okay, you know what? Never mind. Let's just talk to, uh... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, this is worse. Let's uh come back to that eventually. Oh, uh I guess I'm stuck here. Fuck. Congratulations, we've made it past the first demigod, out of six and a half. I'm sure yeah. his subjects will Wait, remember him half? fondly. Remember all those adventures we had together, all those places we've been. That was, uh, 10% of the map. I'll probably finish these videos yeah, in the nursing so home. Yeah, that's so crazy! Bro, that that is just... Oh my god, that that was just a small part yeah, of the that map. That was, 10% uh, of the map. The map just kept growing bigger and bigger and bigger. They did such a good job at concealing the entire map, by the way. Holy shit, they did such a good job at that. Yep. I'll probably finish these videos in a nursing home. This is the rest <laughs> of the game, and wow. I better call Gandalf for that shit, because we've got a ways to walk. Welcome, everyone, to Ligma of the Lakes, the largest swamp that Miyazaki was allowed to build. 30,000 men have already died. And on today's episode, we will be heading to the second demigod on my list of political dis. Ranala of the Red Lobster, Queen of Caria, for at least the next 10 minutes, resides in the magical academy of Malaysia Lucario. And to get there, we need to head across a biological minefield known informally as the Crustacean Nation. It is here that we face our greatest challenge, the fucking shrimp. I'm starting to think that PETA has a... has a point. So anyways, we head through the gauntlet, past the Octo Skeddy, and get completely sidetracked until I end up in fucking Nipton. But, uh, we're gonna skip over most of the side content. You could say that we don't have the time to have hang out. Just know that you can find this area by Google searching Elden Ring Albania. This one is for all my baby girls. I see your comments, ladies, and they make me smile. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect. So after heading oh, through the ruins of no. my marriage and killing the white people, we make it to the <laughs> Hogwarts only to find that the Bro, those the ruins I, of my marriage I, and killing the I don't even remember them being here. Oh my god, I don't even remember them being here. What the fuck? White people, we make it to the Hogwarts only to find that the way is blocked by a mysterious seal. And next to it lies a map which leads straight to the key. Their security is dog shit. This puzzle should be pretty easy. All we have to do is get past the dragon that's waiting there. This game has a lot of dragons in it, so I'm going to keep a count. Just know that it doesn't get easier. So now that we've broken into magical racism land, it's time to enact our revenge upon Chris Angel Mind Freak in one of the most pretty good-ish done- Oh, bro, bro, I got so tilted. I got so tilted. Like, I- I hate those things. I hate them so much. Oh my god, I- I- I, I hate those magic casters, bro. They tilted me by just like- Oh, that's spamming. Oh my god, that's spamming at- Bro, of the game, so featuring tilted. brand new challenges so and tilted. enemies such as the spastic child, this hey, man, thirty times in a row, fine. and a homeless guy who How helps me extract the blood from my body. <laughs> Raging Lucario is a <laughs> Raging Lucario is a fairly linear dungeon with some rather unusual architecture. Now I'm no interior designer, but why is the entrance to the school a graveyard? Is this? <laughs> Ah, uh, don't worry about it. America. Anyways, we drive past Ohio as quickly as possible so until we end up near the lecture hall. Singular. There is only one in the entire school. I well, that's not a very good school now, is it? I guess they just do it on Zoom. And for today's lecture, what is the dog doing? What's the dog doing? Cut that shit out. What's the dog doing? The answer is stabbing me. This is one hecky Scooterino doggo who is frankly an insult to every wizard in the school. Their valedictorian eats his own shit. The gimmick for this chonking pupper is that he combines beast-like aggression with powerful magical attacks, but none was so devastating as when he corrupted my drive, which destroyed this video. The last Wait, minute what? of footage was reconstructed from memory, but my drive, which destroyed this video. The last minute of footage was reconstructed. This is not a joke. Oh my god! Constructed from memory. But besides that, his moveset oh, is varied and sucks. intense, requiring expert evasion or just a lot of healing. It really is a shame that his health bar is the size of an amoeba. I guess my weapon's just covered in chocolate. No. Wow, this is just like my favorite show, Family Guy. <laughs> 
So before we take the 30 second walk to the next boss, I acquire some fat drip so I may no longer appear fatherless. Now on our search for a classroom that can't be raided, so we head up though. the stairs to experience bowling in VR. And after learning how to phase through oncoming traffic, wait. we become sidetracked- Wait, 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 you can't just roll through the bitch? Wait, wait, you can't just roll through the bitch? I- What? Yes, not anymore? Well, I guess not anymore then. But back then already, like it's bowling in VR, and after learning how to phase through oncoming traffic, we become Bruh. sidetracked again as I am teleported straight to the turtle pope who wants to sell me things. <laughs> what do you mean a turtle? That's a dog. That's clearly his existence isn't explained, and I don't want it to be. Only horror lurks behind that stare. Let he says you're a good boy. Let's uh, move on to something less disturbing. He says you're a good boy. I can't believe I went to college without once seeing Ben Shapiro. <laughs> <laughs> I said less disturbing. <laughs> what is up, guys, and welcome to episode 391 of my Minecraft Let's Play. This is a preschool, man. Today we're going to be messaging my underage fans on the internet. Oh, oh boy. Welcome, one and all, across to Child Slaughter Fest 2002. That's right, this is an American school after all. And in this battle, we're going to be teaching these kids the harsh realities of the hood. Now, I know what you're going to say, and hopefully oh, no. it's not a police report. Max Orb, this fight looks kind of easy, like taking candy from a baby if the candy was their still beating heart. This is accurate. In fact, kind of all you easy. have to do is find the correct one to turn inside out, at which point yeah, Renala like basically lets you go to town. The reason for this is that we aren't fighting a so demigod. Boring. This is the demigod's ex-wife, who was dumped after she gave birth to 30 of herself. To some extent, I can understand, but goddamn that child support. Kinda feel like I'm doing him a favor. <laughs> Yeah, oh wait, hold on. Good evening, Twitter. This is your boy, Eat That Pussy what 445. The fuck? And about like 30 to 45 minutes ago, I beat the fuck out of my dick so goddamn uh. hard. Oh no. That I can't even feel my left leg. My left leg has been totally numb. And my dick has. I guess there's a phase two. This fight was beautiful, though. Like, honestly, it was beautiful. It was kind of. A bit lame. It was a bit lame. It was a bit too easy. But it was pretty fun. Welcome to the real fight. It's still easy. Four Dark Souls, which means the challenge is getting anywhere close to her. This fight is essentially Dark Susquindlin if he slash them were a good boss, using a vast array of magic, other bosses, and the power of Goku to socially distance your skull from your neck. But even oh, still, no. it's very manageable if you have any semblance of patience. My editing might tell you something about how I did. 70% of this fight is waiting for my turn. It's like I'm trying to stab Julius Caesar. Make sure you like, oh, comment, God damn it. so we can take this video to the moon. So after sufficient damage is dealt, we find Three out that her second phase fight. has a second phase and its other bosses, including of course Yay! this bastard again and the actual straight up pack Dragons! of wolves. Just make sure that you don't die, otherwise it's back to the daycare. Yeah. Oh my god, bro, that that was the worst part of it. Just having to deal to do with this first Thing over Needless and over to again. say, this fight is a visual and gameplay feast, and by that I mean it does not yeah. end. The divorce may have hit hard, but it is hitting me harder, so let's do to her life what her husband did to the marriage. Oh, there goes the camera. Oh, bye camera. I fucking hate this place. It's making me want to minimize the amount of air I breathe. Greetings again, Tarn. Yeah, okay. What knowledge do you seek that brings you to my domain? Okay, so I've been to Red Lobster once already. Uh, where do I go next? Caleb. What? You must continue no! your adventure in Caleb. Uh, no! Is that a problem? No, not at all. There, there's nothing wrong. What did people call Caleb? What was it? Florida? Which one was it? Arizona? I forgot which one it was. With Caleb. Hey guys, needs to be here. Today right. we're gonna be playing in a Tim Burton. Lane. I call it hell. Ohio. Maybe that one. Welcome to Caleb. It's basically made of German bedtime story. <laughs> Who can forget such a legendary tales as Der Vogel? Der Vogel. Der Vogel. Das Bockfeifen Gesicht. And most terrifying of all. The Dino Dog! I'm sorry. Just kidding!
If you speak German, by the way, that's gotta be my least favorite disability. And don't Fairy tales as Der Vogel, Der Bockpfeifen Gesicht, and most terrifying of all, Das Kinder Shredder. I'm sorry if you speak German, by the way, that's gotta be my least favorite disability. And Sorry. I hate Well, I guess I'm disabled, no? On today's episode of Amnesia the Dark Descent, we are invited to a festival and slumber party where the sleep is permanent, all for a chance to face off against the third demigod on my Club Penguin friends list. Star Scourge Radon, captain of the hospice, resides within the walls of Red Moon Yo, Castle, Redan. where every year he throws a party to see who can keep <laughs> the longest. The price of admission is just up, getting anywhere near him, because sometimes life is just a Bulgarian and you are an unstolen no. car. Uh, so uh. we ride, vaguely and in some direction, encountering many horrifying creatures beyond the reach of God and locking myself in the common dungeon. The other kids laughed at me, <laughs> they called me Jizzy Johnson, but now it is I oh, who no, is laughing Jizzy at them. Okie dokie! Oh cool, it's a- it's another dragon, and this one is a- quite the special encounter, because we get to fight him in the volume of an aquarium. He can't really touch anything, otherwise he, uh, decouples his existence. Hey, what's up guys, Maxor here, and today we're gonna be gaming on the moon, because that... that's what this shit- I didn't have that issue, like. and the issue I had with how shit my CPU was back then was that the torrent was invisible. <laughs> My CPU straight up just didn't load and torrent for like a solid minute or something. So torrent just didn't exist. In fact, I heard you like Dragon so much that I made an entire part of the map called Dragon Barrow, and I filled it with, you guessed it, an obscene Dra quantity of dragons. Because truly, we have not fought enough of them. I don't, uh, want to be here anymore. Let's put this in the future episode box. So far, we've seen a lot of traumatizing things. Enough to give Put this in the future episode. Half of all American okay, politicians, man. cardiac arrest. But I've been saving the best for last, and by best, I mean the most evil game design ever conceptualized. The swamp of Aeonia lies just within the center of Caitlin and contains enough aids to make Ronald Reagan sweat. Yay! This region and pretty much all of just ride on torrent and you're fine. Caitlin, but mostly this fucking abomination is infested with scarlet rot, which is like poison if it was made of radium. And get this, it's spreading. Yeah. You can't even use a horse to bypass the radiation because. A yeah, you can. What? And get this, it's spreading. You can't even use a horse to bypass the radiation because an NPC just invades you in the. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, fair, fair, Middle fair, of the swamp. fair. It's like fair. I can hear the dulcet tones of the game director laughing at me. Melissa, For your my crimes, I'm sending you to the moon. This place is filled with all kinds of new and interesting ways to die. And my favorite lies at the center of the swamp where we can find Commander O. Oh yeah, I also did the, I did the, uh, oh, speaking of quests earlier, I did the, 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 the frenzied ending. I also did the frenzied quest. And his Bostonian Kennedy Mafia. Surprisingly enough, this is the only thing here that can't kill me. His moveset is so simple, it's Amish accessible. You could build a barn around him in the time it takes for him to do damage. Maybe this boss would be better with a second phase, one where he whips out his lightning cock and pulverizes me until I'm gravel. But you know, that's just a theory. A game theory. Okay. Thanks for watching. Theory. Also, he up drops his ketamine needle, which I will now put to very good use. Melissa. You're a horse, right? We're in a uh -huh. red main castle now. This entire level can be skipped because I think the devs realize that Kaylin is the actual level. Do you even yeah. know how many dogs were yeah. organized on my way yeah. here? Don't worry, yeah. you aren't actually yeah. missing yeah. anything unless you're a Fuck big Caleb, fan of cats, man. such as life Fuck on the Serengeti. So, uh, welcome to the festival of Ramadan. There are. No way. <laughs> oh my god, did I just hear an Allah Almighty? Yes, such is life on the Serengeti. So, uh, welcome to the festival of Ramadan. Oh my god, I did. Oh my god, I can't. There are oh my two god, I attendants in total, and uh, one of them is this guy. Hello again, Tarnished. How was your journey down the well? <laughs> what the fuck Uber is wrong with you? Camera. I'm just passionate about. I met Blade, by the way. I, at least I think. I think this is the first time I met Blade. About my cuisine. Speaking of which, did you ever find those children I talked about? Uh, Welcome, one and all, across to Child Slaughterfest 2002. No. <laughs>
Okay, Shame. then bow. You know what? Maybe the jar will be a bit of. We said called Jar Jar Binks. We said your humble servant. Okay, never mind. Look, so in a stroke of obscene boy, luck, we find a mostly sane person who tells us via YouTube Roger. Rewind that Radon is not. Not here. Technically. You see, this castle is his euthanasia clinic, and we are going to pull the plug. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I have to charge my switch. No! His consciousness has been gone for several hundred years due to the demigod Melania, who is the Blade of Mikola, by the way. But that is a story for... <laughs> Millennia Blade of Mikkel. Essentially, his mind was eaten by the Scarlet Rot, but this man is literally too angry to die, and we are attempt number 500 to kill him. So, uh, I'm liking these odds. I'm just built differently. Very willed swiftly. Uh, Let's, uh, go start the mercy killing. And, uh, why is he so far away? Are those summons <laughs> to the open world RPG where I roleplay as the victim and today we're doing one of the best fights I in all the video games. Star Scourge Radon is a big, buff, absolute unit of a boss whose only instinct is recycling run. your flesh back into the ecosystem. But you are not alone in this battle. There is no limit on how many people you can summon and if they then die you then can you can just do it again. Them. I'm sure they won't very mind. Good, very good, very good. was something. I was there. I, I, I defeated him pre-patch. I was there. I have the achievement for it. I did it. I did a pre-patch. I've essentially converted the game into We're the biggest sword! An RTS. I'm gonna fight Raid Boss Radon in World of Employee Harassment. <laughs> now, you can fight him alone as a real gamer, but why would why you? Why would you do this that? This is a goddamn festival, and I will not be having yeah. sex by myself. <laughs> Before you can even reach him, Radon is sniping your ass with the accuracy of my opinions on the internet and firing a frankly suspicious amount of arrows from God. If you want to exercise the privilege of fighting him, you have to earn it. And that is the easy part. Yeah. Even with summons, you need to pay full attention to his moveset as his attacks swing yeah. wider than American elections and hit harder than a freight train on a semi. Now, you may have already noticed, but that is a comically small horse. It's like I'm looking at Shaquale <laughs> Onale. This is because... Oh, Radan's story is so wholesome, though, man. Like, even when he's, like, lost in all of his mind, he still cares for his horse, see? In addition to being built like a steel mill, he Radan has the power to defy gravity, which constantly gets him into fights with solar bodies. This man is skateboarding a horse and holding back the stars while killing everyone he comes yep. into contact with, and he does it from the hospice. Radan is an absolute god among chads, and this fight's yep. intensity lives up to that and then some. And that is just phase one. Phase two starts when he, um... He just leaves and then comes back as a fucking comet. How fucking giga chat. Uh jumps into the upper atmosphere. Christ, he is a thick one. Sure, yeah. Oh then... god, I think my Zodiac just killed itself. This is sure to negatively affect the trout population. <laughs> Won't someone please think about the economy? <laughs> Won't someone please think about the economy? Mati Sensito Pants as a boy. Ah, Seth. Uber Danger. Yanni. Yanni. Matragano. Jimothy Ross. Added to the next door. Wow. Well, that's that chat. <laughs> Finally watched that one. You happy now? <laughs> you happy now, chat? You happy now? We shall continue with more uh, on another stream. I'll do the rest. We do the rest on another stream.